Browsing with a mobile screen reader. Like desktop screen readers, mobile screen readers announce everything on a web page and within an application. All static text is spoken, including paragraphs of text, headings, and lists. Screen readers also announce additional information, such as text descriptions for images, visually hidden text, and the names of landmark regions, for example, banner, main, and footer when browsing web content. When a mobile screen reader is enabled on a touchscreen device, ordered gestures change. Instead of visually scanning the screen and tapping once on something to activate it, people will scan the screen by touch and move their screen reader focus sequentially in a linear fashion through elements on the screen. Swipe right to move focus to the next item. Swipe left to move focus to the previous item. In addition, mobile screen readers also let you explore by touch dragging a finger over the screen. The screen reader will focus and announce each item you touch. This can be useful in situations where an item can't be reached through normal navigation, but can be quite inefficient. Once a mobile screen reader is focused on an item, double tapping anywhere on the screen will activate it. On both Android and iOS, it is possible to navigate by a specific type of element. On iOS, the VoiceOver Rotor makes it possible to access different configuration settings and to navigate applications and web pages by different elements. Moving two fingers clockwise opens the Rotor, where you can choose what types of element you want to navigate between. Characters. Words. Lines. Speaking rate, 60%. Containers. Headings. Five headings. Once a type of element is selected, swiping up or down, moves focus between the elements of that particular type. For example, while browsing a website, if headings are selected in the rotor, then swiping up or down moves focus from heading to heading. Hello, where? Tetralogical, heading level one. News, heading level two. Blog, heading level two. Contact us, heading level two. On Android, you can swipe down then up in one gesture to cycle between talkback navigation options. Characters, words, lines, headings. Swipe up or swipe down to read by headings. Once an option is selected, such as headings, a single swipe, either up or down, moves focus between each heading. Hello, we're Tetralogical. Heading one. News, heading two. Blog. Heading 2. All screen readers can be customized to suit people's preferences. Probably the most common setting people change is the rate of speech output. Many people who use screen readers on a daily basis listen to the speech output very fast. This is similar to how someone who is sighted might skim read or read fast in their head. The speech rate can be so fast that output is almost impossible to follow for people unaccustomed to screen readers. As an example, here we change the speaking rate in iOS VoiceOver from 60% to 100% and then read through content on the Tetralogical website's homepage. Speaking rate, 60%, 65%, 70%, 75%, 80%, 85%, 90%, 95%, 100%. Your these are some of the high-level details about mobile screen readers and common strategies that people browsing with a mobile screen reader use. To find out more about accessibility, visit tetralogical.com.